Now to earnings and profits at Chevron, which fell 30 percent last quarter on that sharp drop in oil prices. Shares were only down, though, about half a percent today, even after the oil giant announced it is suspending a stock buyback plan and cutting spending on new projects. And Chevron isn't alone. Jackie DeAngelis has more. The oil majors have begun to report, and while they're generally beating expectations by managing costs and working on efficiencies, Wall Street is focused on capital expenditures. The drop in oil prices has taken an axe to spending, which not only impacts the oil patch, but the broader global economy. Chevron is the latest and the biggest oil company to do so. The company plans to cut its spending by 13 percent to 35 billion this year and plans to suspend its share buyback program in order to conserve cash. The reduction to the drilling budget, the greatest since 2003. The announcement by Chevron that they're cutting back on their capital expenditures is, is emblematic of what's being undergone in the industry right now. Every company, big and small, is getting hurt by the collapse in oil prices. Chevron sends a big signal that this is going to occur across the board. And while Chevron's earnings exceeded analyst expectations, those same analysts focused in on its revenues, down 18 percent from year-ago levels. The bottom line is that the low crude oil prices is their bread and butter, and that's what's going to hurt them the most going forward. Their revenues are dependent on crude oil prices being higher than where they are now and where they've been over the past couple of months. Earlier this week, Royal Dutch Shell announced it would cut CapEx investment by $15 billion over the next three years and also said that 2015 spending would be less than 2014. And ConocoPhillips slashed its 2015 spending by 20 percent to $11.5 billion as it deals with the plunging price of crude. Now attention turns to Exxon's numbers on Monday and BP on Tuesday. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Jackie DeAngelis.